It's March 26th. Just got back in last night. I'll be here for a few days working. I should have help today and tomorrow. On this trip, I'm planning on getting these the ends of the walls here all the way up to the fifth course. I had just been staggering them, but I'm gonna get these all the way up. Also have that fifth course laid out from last time. So I'll need to get some dirt in all those and pound those. So yeah, we'll see how much we get done on this trip. It's the next morning. Yesterday I didn't get much filmed. Uh, Jeff came out to help and we were just finishing up these walls. We got them both up to where we could do the fifth course now. You can kind of see the those half tires. Continuing up with those. So every other course will have the half tire to make up for the stagger, the tires. Let's see how they're, I don't know if you can see that with the sun. We'll move over to the other side. Might be able to see it better. So on this side over here, doing the same thing with the half tires, uh, but the spacing for the tires in order to have this all flush with each other, I had to add just a, this is just tire tread here. I actually found it right on the side of the highway there. Um, cut that up and made a tiny little half block. Get out of the shot. Kind of in between this tire and this one over here. Moving around to the back. Just used those cutoffs from the half tires and just screwed them in to hold in that dirt. So I'll have another helper coming out today to help pound tires. Hopefully we can get this fifth course pretty much all pounded. I am about three tires short. Maybe a full tire and a half tire there and then another half tire over here. Um, but hopefully we can get this whole fifth course pounded. I don't know how much I'll be getting filmed today not really anything exciting going on. It's just going to be pounding all these tires. I will make a video eventually on how to cut these tires, like method that I'm using, but I'm still kind of experimenting with different things. So once I figure out the best way to cut them, I'll uh, make a little video on it, show you how to do it. All right, it's March 28th. I'm just about to head out. I'll be gone for a few days. I'm gonna try and come back next week. Um, this trip wasn't too exciting for a video, but we got some stuff done. The fifth course is pretty close to being done. These last few tires here are empty. I just need to bring some more 225s with me next time. And then there's a few here that haven't been pounded. But the rest are good to go. Got another half tire to make over here. And when I bring those tires back, I'll make a little video on how to cut them and attach them a little better. Um, for the wing walls, there's still going to be something to retain that berm um, coming out right here. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do tires or gabion wall or what kind of retaining wall I'm going to end up doing but that'll be coming up soon I can't really go any higher with the tires until I start doing the thermal wrap and vapor barrier so next time I'm out that will probably be what I'm working on I'm trying to been trying to make some dirt piled up a little bit but just over here I'm starting to dig a hole to get some dirt. Um, this hole will be used for projects a little later. 
Um, I'm thinking about doing some rainwater harvesting on the ground up here with a billboard tarp and then it'll gravity feed down into an underground water cistern here. Um, so that's what this hole will be for. So I just laid out these tires on the south side just to get a rough idea of how big it's going to be. So this will be probably two courses of tires and that'll be what the south face the greenhouse will sit on. Um, this will be open with the door here so you'll walk in. There'll be another door over on the east side and then this will all be open. The interior glass will start about three tires back and go across. So this whole space here will be the greenhouse. Uh, the bathroom will be in this portion of the greenhouse. Um, and then over on the west side, there'll be a kitchen along that wall with little bar stools in the greenhouse and a window that opens up in between the main living area and the greenhouse.